Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm reviewing Quicksilver from Stern, released in 1980. A very catchy, straightforward, and fun pinball machine. Let's take a look at Quicksilver. A pinball machine that tells a tragic tale. The tale of a beautiful alien woman running away from lime jello with blueberries. Why would you run from lime jello? It's delicious. Maybe there's some sort of weird alien thing where they like dissolve in it or something. Maybe it's not Jello. Maybe it's the flood from Halo. Whatever it is, it's awesome because Quicksilver rocks. It's a machine that catches my eye every time I play pinball at Papa. Even though it's really nothing fancy, it's a very straightforward pinball machine. But I love the artwork. It's just got a unique look to it, and the green and orange is not a normal color combination you see in pinball. Or anywhere else for that matter. Except on orange trees. And what's she reaching for anyway? Like, oh, help me, I'm reaching. Her fingers are weird. What the hell's wrong with her hand? And why can you see through her head? Yes! Get the, the B! What I'm trying to do now is spell quick silver, except you might notice there's no K in quick. It's just Q U I C. They don't even know how to spell their own game. Oh, wait, no, there's the K. I take that back. You guys are great at spelling. It's easy to miss, though, because it's off to the side. It's like they designed this thing and then we're like, Oh, shit, we spelled quick wrong. Uh, make that thing the K. Problem solved. Ship it. Anyway, that's what you're doing most of the time that you play the game. Trying to spell Quicksilver and hit all the drop targets and score points. Like, uh, you know, normal. But it's frustrating because you'll get right to the end and, like, you've almost spelled Quicksilver and then, the, then you drain the ball and the next ball requires you to start all over again. That was disappointing because I had the V-lit on that one. Never trust naked alien women with see-through heads. It's a very green machine, as you can see. The artwork on the play field is interesting. It's not one of the more dramatic pinball machines out there, but it's cool. It's cool because it's unique. It's got that late 70s, early 80s sci-fi style that I personally enjoy. And it's a fun pinball machine, even if it's very average. It's not too hard, it's not too easy. It just feels good, it makes you feel all warm inside, like lime jello shots. Because alien women need Gamer Grub 2 with the neurotoxins and Soylent Green that keep them naked and playing pinball. Mmm, yum yum yum. You really shouldn't read the ingredient list while you're eating this stuff. What is people? Oh. Gamer Grub is people! It's people! It's possible she's running from an acid trip. It was released in 1980. While these sound effects are very good, the one thing that Quicksilver is missing is music. And I blame Stern for this, for not going back in time and putting this music in the game. That music really uh, changes the character of the game, doesn't it? It's Quicksilver from 1980. If you see one, make sure to give it a quarter.
That would be a great cell phone ringer. Scare the hell out of anybody around you. Spell! 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 Or not. <laughs>